Hey Aquarius, Diane with Real 3 High Priestess. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your weekly reading. I'm going to jump right in with you. This is for the 27th through the 31st. I want to make sure I get all you guys in here. Okay, before the end of the night. So Aquarius, let's see what's happening for you for the next few days. Okay. It's the end of this month. Cards for Aquarius. One more time. Resoluteness, determination. This is your past energy, okay? Determination here. Unwavering focus, inner resolve, integrity, a test of character. Someone's testing you, Aquarius. Yeah. Self examination, okay? Biting through, you're going to take decisive action, or you did take decisive action here, okay? Restoring order, force applied with sensitivity, justice, tenacious devotion to a task, or towards making a change in your current energy here, okay? You have conflict, still dealing with something. Will to power, hostility, jealousy, stubbornness, aggression, fear, competitiveness, and controversy. Okay, let's start. Okay, current energy, sharing, reaping rewards, overflow, expansion, flowering, encouragement, fertile ground, and abundance. Okay. In the future energy here, in the near future, you're going to have following. Okay, Aquarius, loyalty, adaptability, cooperation, trust, reliability, sensitivity to others, service, receiving guidance, okay? It's like you had to snap on someone and then you're like, okay, 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 we can be, you know, it's all right. <laughs> you're giving, you're forgiving, okay? You're forgiving at this time, this week. Okay. I feel like you have to check someone, <clears throat> put someone in their place, not in a forceful way. Okay, in the past, energy is biting, biting through, force applied with sensitivity, justice. Okay, against some conflict that you were having here. Something from the past is still following you. Some issue is still following you. We're going to find out what that is, okay? And the near, <clears throat> damn. Mm. Aquarius in the near future here decline cutting back okay you're frugal uh, in the near future okay uh contraction letting go of past issues less is more resourcefulness and sacrifice let's see what's going on we're going to clarify some of these cards for you the past energy why did Aquarius have to have this unwavering focus? What was Aquarius focusing on? I'm hearing that you had to come to, pe come to peace with something. Come to peace with something you needed to let go of. What is this? You did break free from something, okay? You have the devil card here. Could have been another Capricorn that you were dealing with. Saying another Capricorn, a Capricorn you were dealing with. Okay. But yeah, possible lover that you had to bait, break free from. I, I'm getting the feeling that they still love you though. Oh, there's still love between you two with the Ace of Cups here. Okay. But yeah, it's talking about self examination. Okay, a test of your character. You had to let something go or someone go. Maybe they're, um, they had issues, addiction issues, or just issues, okay, that you could not stick around and deal with. Past energy, you released yourself from it. Biting through, okay, Take, taking decisive action restoring order and making uh, future plans for yourself okay with the two of wands yeah 
you may have moved out or you put someone out okay of a home here okay yet to bring back control and stability to your home okay to your life here and bring back order in the present moment you have conflict still who is this with hostility who's jealous of aquarius here some partner that you that's gone okay or connection this person was an ass okay could have been a water sign here could have been a libra pisces cancer scorpio libra that i have here but some of you guys got a divorce or you're looking for a divorce but there's some separation okay with the three of pentacles here you're dissolving a connection releasing a person a connection Ooh, this person could have been abusive really emotionally uh withdrawn and the connection here that you had to step away okay yeah you're focused on your own happiness okay you have the ace of wands here in the near in the present energy here over um abundance and overflow and reaping your rewards but i feel like you're single while you're doing it here okay with the nine of cups you decided something wasn't worth the effort to put in and you release someone okay in the future energy here aquarius you're adapting to change You're also receiving guidance from your ancestors, possibly towards a new love, okay? That's what I'm seeing here, a new connection here. Maybe a very uh, strong soulmate or twin flame here. And it's been a difficult road or a difficult journey to meet this person or get close to someone, okay? That you feel is like you, a twin flame here, okay? Or I was going to say complete you. You complete you. Okay. But you feel like um, that this person is definitely a soulmate here. We're talking about loyalty, trust, and reliability with someone new. This could be a Gemini here. Okay. A new beginning. Difficult one, but it's still a new beginning. In the future, you're going to have a love coming in that I feel will be more solid than the ones that you had in the past. Okay. Future energy here, they're talking about decrease, decline, cutting back, letting go <laughs> of the past. Okay, they're talking about you being frugal, not spending so much, not overindul overindulging and um, material things, possibly. Okay, less is more. That's what they're saying, you know. Yeah. Ooh, yes, you have to do this. <laughs> All right, you have the Empress card here and you have the Queen of Wands here. Okay. They're saying watch your actions. Um, watch, the, watch the decisions that you make. Make sure whatever you're doing it, you're doing it for a reason, a purpose. You're not just overspending or overbuying or overindulging. This is a time in the near future to cut back and uh, be frugal. Think about your, how's going to say homestead? I don't know why. Think about your home, okay? Uh, think about growth savings. This earth energy makes me feel like money. They want you to save, okay, and plan for the future. Okay, make sure you have savings. That's something that's coming in here. And the Ten of Pentacles is under the deck. So they want you to pay attention to your finances here, Aquarius. Let's take a look at this love. I want to see what's coming in for you in love. We're going to also take a look at friends, work, and children if you have them. Okay. See you guys soon. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see how things will play out with you and a lover. Look at that. Ew. Messages coming in possibly from a new love. I just flipped the cards over, but that's the Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands. 
So messages of love coming in towards the fear. I feel like it will happen more in the month of April if it's not happening get happening already for you, okay? What's going on in love for Aquarius? 27 through 31st. Okay, so someone is my admiring you. Trying to make a decision on you, okay? To step forward. That's what I'm saying here. I see something good coming in towards you, though. Partnership. Why is this two of wands here? Could be a fire sign. You have the emperor card coming in and Aries. Possibly. Okay, yes. They're going to be fair and balanced. That's what I see here with the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. And they're going to make long-term plans with you. Ew. Okay. I'm trying to take you off the market. <laughs> you have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Three of Wands here, okay? I feel like this. whoever this is, they're going to be ready to settle down or make future plans. They're a long-term type of person, Okay. They're a commit, committed, <laughs> committed person and loyal, okay? They're ready for commitment. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like their energy is pointing towards the Ten of Cups, that they want a family, <laughs> that they want a family, okay? And they want, um, they want to be happy. That's what I'm saying here. What's going on in love for Aquarius? What advice do you have? Shit. Woo. Oh, okay. You got to free yourself here from the past. It's time, it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, you have new love coming in. Could be fire sign here. Okay, a new person stirs your romantic interests, okay? <sighs> okay, something about balance when it comes to this unrequited love here. In the near future position, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Let's take a look at this. This is Six of Pentacles here. Big red flag. It just went up there, okay? If the tower card... It just makes me feel like this person would be ready to commit. Not understanding why that unrequited love is there. But it's a red flag. Definitely when it's coming out like this and the tower card is with it. Um, okay, I hear this. This is what this is saying, okay? There's change coming. That's why the tower card is here. Okay. I feel like the change is you having issues with unrequited love. Okay. That there's some balance coming in, some healing coming in to relationships that may have failed in the past here. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Blocks removed. That's what I always feel when I see this tower card. It depends on what else is around it. Okay, but due to the cards around it, I feel like that I feel like it is change and blocks removed. Maybe with dealing with people that um may have you may have had unrequited love with, okay. Like that situation or these um lessons or cycles. Are about to end there's a wish come true here and i feel like it is a ten of cups okay someone new coming in here in the present moment that's what i'm saying all right let's go ahead and take a look at friends how things play out with aquarius and friends the knight of pentacles the eight of swords 
and the king of swords coming in here you may have you may be supporting a friend at this moment defending them they may be going through depression right now it may be a financial need as well with the knight of pentacles coming in as well okay This is either a friend supporting you or you're supporting them, okay? But I feel like with the King of Swords being here in the upright position, it's not um, something that's negative that a friend is doing to you. There is someone that you can trust or turn to when you need advice or need help. And they will be there. That's what I'm saying, okay? So close friendships or supportive friendships will be here for the next week. How things play out with Aquarius and work. Thank you. We have the full card here. Page of Swords. And the Will of Fortune coming in. For some of you, you may have just started a position with the full card here, okay? Started something new. In the present moment, you have the page of swords here. It makes me feel like news that came in that wasn't good, okay? I want to see exactly what this is. Why is this page of swords here in the present moment? For Aquarius. They're saying pay attention to what's going on around you. There's some trouble or conflict or petty arguments here. It could be with another person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the King of Pentacles. It is about money. Okay. You may not even pay attention to what this person is saying. It's looking like you're more concentrating on this pinnacle here. Okay. And what you have going on. Um in your life right now. I feel like this is petty. Whatever this is in the present moment with this page of swords. Um, you're going to overcome it with the will of fortune here. Okay. Opportunities um, for you. New beginnings and outgrowing immature people. Okay. How things play out with Aquarius and a child. This week, how things be with Aquarius and a child. The Hierophant. Ooh. Justice. And the Eight of Pentacles here. Okay, I'm getting an older child and a young, younger child. If you have an older child, they may have some legal issues coming up here. Um, court dates. Court cases going on here. Okay, that you need assistance with. You may be talking to lawyers. You may be paying a significant amount of money on things for this child. Okay. If you have a younger child, they just need guidance. Something about homework. <laughs> Seriously. Because this makes me feel like study. Okay. Or um, attention being applied somewhere. Um Attention to detail, that's what they're saying, okay, for someone younger. Someone older, I feel like there's a something going on with legal cases and lawyers and money involved here, okay? There's this need to get um, professional advice in a matter that you're dealing with, a legal matter, possibly, all right? Custody battles can be another issue here. They're saying do your research. And get legal advice as well from a professional. That's what it's making me feel like with Hierophant and the Justice card. Someone professional that you need to speak with in regards to whatever you're dealing with with your child. Okay? That is your reading. Aquarius, thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate each and every one of you. You know I do. And I love you. And I hope you guys are well and you're healthy. Take care of yourself. I will see you in the next video. Bye, Aquarius.